06 concepts making an arc. We can make a fast arc with three points. Uh, for example, if I click the arc icon and click one, two, three, I get a fast arc. With a little bit of precision we could make an arch over this window. We have to know the top point of the arch, so using a midpoint snap, let's come up here let's say one foot and then go to the arc command this is the first point second point third point and then that can go away so you can do it with three points or you can use a center point which is what we need to do when we make a doorway so if we click the arc command down here it says specify start point or the center so we type C for center, press enter. Center point is always going to be where the hinge is against the wall there. So you click it, then it says the start point. The start point could be here, and the end point is here. If we picked this as the start point, and this is the end point, it would start drawing from here and go counterclockwise, and we'd get the wrong thing. And I'll show you that arc, C for center, where the hinge is, and if I pick there as the start and this as the end, it would draw it from there. So that's not what we want. So you have to be careful where you put the start point. So that's, that's one arc doorway. If you need to draw the doorway, then you're going to need to find the distance the opening of the doorway. So using the distance command from here to here, it tells me the distance is two foot six. So I need to draw a door in. One way is just with the line command. Click here. It's going to come down 30 inches and then two and then up 30 and then C for close and I have a door in. That's one way we could do it. The other way is to draw a rectangle, and the door swing of a door always it opens in towards the wall, not the other way. So if I do a rectangle, I click here, D for dimensions, it's always asking for the X first, which is going to be 2 inches, the Y is going to be 30, and then you have to land it, that's always that last step, so it lands right there. Now we'll put the door swing in. Uh, click the arc, C for center, enter, click at the hinge point, and now in this case, knowing that it always draws counterclockwise, this has to be my start point, and this will be my end point. So that's the arc of my door. Okay, and we'll come back to that in a minute. So three, extend a line the fastest way. Go to your extend command right here click it, press your enter key, and then you can click any line and it will it will continue on until it hits a boundary. And you can use a crossing box to do all of them at one time. Now sometimes, uh, as in number five, bring an object to the front of the stacking order. Um, we are going to put this object here. It consists of a rectangle and a hatch. So I want to select them both and I can come to this toolbar here, the draw order, and find send to back and that puts it behind the line. And now I'll just take the line and send it to the back just to show you the difference. That's number five. Okay, creating new layers. So let's come back to this room and let's say that we need a new layer to put this electrical and lighting on. We're going to come here to the Layers Manager and click it. We already have some layers in, but we want a new one. Whichever one is selected, when I click this new, it's going to be a copy of it's going to be white, continuous with all these settings. So I click it and I can immediately type the name. I'm going to call it Electrical Lighting. I'm going to click right on the word white here 
and change the color to orange and say OK. And I'm going to keep it as continuous and I will say OK. Now right now if I select this entity it shows that it's all on the zero layer so I'm going to change it over to the electrical layer by clicking the drop down and then telling it this is the destination this is what I want it to be on so when I click that all of this goes onto the electrical layer and you can see that the color is dictated by the layer setting that the manager, the layer manager set and this is the continuous line is dictated by your layer settings and so is your line weight control. So in this case I am going to go and uh, load a line here. I'm not going to do it through my layer here. This time on a rare occasion I'm going to override. So I want to take this line here and I'm going to come here to line type control and I want it to be other something other than continuous. So when I click that other it brings me to this box and I'm going to load. Always scroll past these ISO and ACAD ones. I'm going to make it be dashed and I say OK. All I've done is loaded that line I, and I'll say OK. You can see nothing's changed. It's still by layer. But now I'm going to change it to the dashed and still we don't really see a dashed line unless we zoom in. So because AutoCAD needs help to display things in model space um, we need to type in to the command prompt LT scale enter and just go up in increments of 10 and hit enter and there's my dashed line now it's showing OK. So this circle and light it's on the electrical layer. Everything is set by the layer, but this one line, I have done a dash line. I didn't set a dash line as my electrical lighting here. I don't want to set it in my layer because I don't want my S to be dashed and I don't want my light to be dashed. And yet I want to keep it all in one go. If I were to come here and turn the electrical layer off right now, it all would disappear together. And I'm going to go and turn it back on. Okay, so right now, let's take this door swing and this door swing and put it on the door swing layer and take uh, the door. I think I have a door layer. I do take that and put it on the door layer and I think I've missed that little line. Yes I have. Okay so as you switch things to layers um, they will show all the settings here of what layers it's on. And mm, let's come back in here and just go over this stuff. So you saw you can turn a layer on or off. You can freeze or thaw a layer which is similar to turning it on or off just it the computer does it a slightly different way uh, you can lock a layer although I don't suggest it at this point you can change the color you can change the line type and you can change the line weight so for example our walls are always going to be thicker than our doors and our text and so I can go in here and change my walls to about there, 0.016, and say OK, and click OK. Now my walls don't really look thicker here. If I want to see that that's taken effect, I can put this line weight button on, and it does show me that they're thicker, but it's not very representative of what the true thickness is, and I people rarely use it because it's just distracting but it does show you um, if you want to just quickly check that that worked when it does print out 
it would be it would show you if you did a little preview you can see clearly that they are thicker Okay, this is an icon that I always forget about so the current layer is zero and I have more electrical work to do and I happen to have this selected if I click this button it actually changes the current layer to the electrical layer so now I can continue on drawing more things if I want to switch back to another layer you have to tell it first if I switch back to, to door everything I draw from this point on is going to be on that door layer and lots of times you forget and then you have to select things and put them back to where they belong that's not unusual uh, you're going to be told what line weight uh, to put in your layers. Uh, if you come to LWT line weight and come into the settings, most of the time I will tell you things in inches, so you have to know how to set your inches. And it tells you what the default is, and that's all you really need to know. So let's change, I think we, we did already change the line weight of our walls. Let's do the door swing. Let's change this line weight by layer. Our We want this one to be pretty light, so I'm going to put it here at 0 .005 and say OK. And again, if I come into my preview, you can usually see when you zoom in uh, the difference in your line weights. And I think basically I've covered everything. So that's it.